Hi, welcome back everybody. This is Darren with Robo Stout and today we're going to talk about strawberries. These cool little guys right here. I love a good strawberry. It, it's summertime in Oregon, which means that you can go around any corner. You're going to find people pawning this off. They're hustling them, right? And uh, the best thing about strawberries is they can actually last pretty long if you know what to do. So I'm going to give you guys two awesome tips that I use this summer to keep these guys as fresh as possible. Roll the intro. All right, guys, we're wanting to keep these strawberries as long as possible and as fresh as possible. So I'm gonna give you guys two different techniques and I'm also gonna give you one more technique that I'll share um, in the description below if you wanna go like hardcore cleaning and putting all kinds of stuff all over it. I do the basics, the simple. So first and foremost, get yourself a tray of beautiful strawberries. Look at these, beautiful strawberries, right? Uh, haven't washed them, haven't done anything with them yet. Uh, just picked them up, uh, fresh down the street from there. And the first thing we're gonna do is put this aside a little bit and I want you to go and grab a container. That's right. Get a container with the top, just like so. Very simple, put that there, put that there, put that there. Easy steps. Next, aha, paper towel, that's right. We're gonna shove a paper towel down below here. And basically what this is gonna do, it's gonna help kind of keep it dry. What you want to do to keep these berries as long as possible is to keep them cool and dry, right? And so some refrigerators don't necessarily, yeah, but they do a great job cooling, but there's still a lot of moisture content. So we're gonna take some berries and we're gonna throw them in here quite like this. We're gonna look for anything that might have bruising on it and you know we might wanna use those immediately. Uh, but these are actually been pretty good. So we're gonna pop these in here. And uh, I have a whole bunch, so I might even do another one. So there you go. All you have to do is put the top on here, put in the refrigerator and you got about four to five days of fresh strawberries. And always remember when you do get them, open them back up, make sure you wash them, right? Cut them and wash them. These have not been washed. So that is step number one that you can do. That's the one I normally do. Uh, it works really well, as simple as it is, um, but just having the paper towel and making sure it's sealed, keeping it cool and dry is the goal. Okay, second step, get your strawberries again. You're gonna need a knife, a bowl to put stuff in, and uh, again, you're gonna want a container with a top. Don't forget, we're gonna need some more paper towels. So put that aside. So this one, same technique, a little bit different. Gonna take your container just like so. You're gonna put this down here, um, but you're gonna wanna fold it down a little bit more so you can have more placement on here now. Again, I would recommend doing a skinnier, flatter bowl, but this is the only thing I got. But what we're gonna do here with this little guy is without washing him, again, not washing him, and safety first kids, don't use the knife like this and you might hurt somebody. So keep your hands steady and try not to hurt anything. But you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna cut your strawberries and you're gonna put them face down. It is crucial that you look at each strawberry on this one to make sure there is no bruising because uh, you're gonna wanna use those right away if you do it this way. And again, putting them face down right on there, and this one's a good one too. Work with me on here. And uh, excellent, not cutting ourselves. Safety first, my friends. Safety first, that's a good one. Yeah, I kinda just wanna eat these right now. I don't know about you guys. Safety first. Oh, that one's got a little bruise. Like I said, you wanna make sure that you look at each of the berry. We'll put that one aside. That's a beautiful one. And that one will fit there too, so. Again, it works better with a little bit bigger dish, but these are all face down. I'm gonna go put my little cut tree piece back here extra safety and then I'm gonna go ahead put these here put them in the refrigerator and that's gonna give you an extra two days from the original step so that's a couple different ways you can do it uh, personally uh, I usually eat these pretty quickly so uh, doing the basic uh, first step is what I do but if you need them to go a little bit longer or if you buy tons of strawberries and you're just trying to get through them 
that is another way. Now, is the next step is actually to rinse them with vinegar and baking soda um, and doing all kinds of stuff. That will actually let it go even longer. I'm gonna put a link in the description below of a guy that's like really into cleaning strawberries, um, but he did a good job and it's pretty cool. So if you're like, hey, I need these strawberries to go even longer, uh, definitely click on there. I'm not affiliated to them. I just thought it was some really good content and wanna share it and to go from there. So there you go, my friends. That is how you can uh, make your strawberries go as long as possible. And uh, you know what? Put down in the comments if you've got any awesome tips that you like to do or, or whatnot, pop it in there. And don't forget, subscribe. The subscribe button's gonna be right about here. Yeah, that's what I like, subscribe right there. And again, thank you guys very much for this quick tip for summer. Yeah, yeah. Look at them. Oh, ah. Strawberries! <laughs> oh, hi! Hi, Mr. Strawberry! How you doing? Hey! What's that in your hand? No! Eat, 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 eat! Ah! <laughs>